So we've all heard of the new Death Note movie and um, whatever that guy's name is. I'm not about to look it up. From Nickelodeon playing Light Yagami. They are going to whitewash this movie. Diamonds are forever. They are all I need to please me. Now, some of y'all who have said it's Hollywood, that, that's what they do. And you're right. And it's it's a smart move on their part for business purposes because let's be honest how many um how can I say this I'll just say it European descended Americans go see any movie where they're not the majority now you do have some that'll see a quote unquote black movie like uh, Straddle the Compton uh, Barbershop etc etc Tyler Perry film and if uh, if you're one of them, thank you for you know having a diverse uh, taste in art and uh, movie quality. But so pretty much Hollywood's like okay, mm, look at they're, they're looking at the regular sheet. Okay, this 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 manga has did pretty good in Japan for ten years. We can make a movie out of this, but it's in Japan and everybody's Asian. Okay. Well, by law, we have to have some black people in this, like a Latino person, and maybe a few Asians in here. We're going to make most of this cast white because there are not a lot of Asian people here, let alone Japanese people. And that's their mindset. They're, I'm not going to... And you know what? Saying that it's whitewashed is a bit much. I will say they're going to color wash this. So... If it's in America, which chances are it probably will. Now it may not, and that's fine. They could, it could be all Japanese people and be a straight up movie version of the of the book. That's fine. But chances are it's not gonna happen like that. So they're gonna they, and and think about this. So they're looking at it, okay. Oh, this is the main character. His brown hair, and brown eyes. His skin color looks white, even though he's in Japan. He has large eyes like us. And then look at Misa. Oh, she has blonde hair. She has to be white. And this is this is from somebody who's looking at the script, who, who doesn't watch manga anime. Chances are, they do not. Most people in Hollywood don't do the research like they're supposed to. So, half the characters are probably going to be seen white, and it's going, and they're going to be they're going to be white. You're going to see black people in the background or whatever. You're probably not going to see a lot of Asian or Oriental people in the movie. Now, for some of you who are obsessed and it just boils your skin, um, now you see what Native Americans go through when you have actors like Johnny Depp in a Disney movie, even though he produces it, portraying them, and he is 0% Native American. How many times do you see a Caucasian person portraying a Native American, but yet Native Americans are still around. The population, you might think they're gone, but their, their reservations are scattered throughout the United States. And think about this, how many, how many shows have you seen where there's a gay person, but gay people are only 2% of the population, and Native Americans are far larger, but you, don't, but you see gay people in shows all the time, but you don't see Native Americans. Just think about that. Another reason is, let's be honest, if you, a lot of Japanese characters look white. And I say that because they color, they use the exact same color for themselves in, in Caucasian characters. Now, when you look at Filipino, Chinese, Korean, Vietnamese, they're different colors. They're different colors. But when it comes to Caucasian people and themselves, the Japanese tend to use the exact same color. Now, I'm, like, I'm sitting thinking, okay... You could argue, well, they they tend to do it faster, and I call BS on that argument. Look into the history of how Japan and began to portray themselves before and after the Western influence of their country. They had a lot before manga. Their eyes were really small, like how China drew theirs, because they have a common heritage. 
blah blah blah. I'm not gonna get into it. But now with manga, they had larger eyes, and white people were drawing themselves with larger eyes. So I really hope that they decide to change this actor, like Nickelodeon. It's notorious for bad acting. Now, you, you, if you disagree, and chances are you might be watching it, Cologne. You might be kind of young, so you really haven't had that set bar. I used to think the acting was great when I was a child, but I go back and watch old shows, and I'm just like, this was pretty bad acting. I mean, it's still, it's, it's still entertaining to me because I used to watch this kid. But other than that, it's, it's not, it's not too great. It's like those Disney Channel movies they came out with once a month back in the '90s or early 2000s, I believe. Now, if they do this right, I really can see them making this into a trilogy. And I don't mean adding in a whole bunch of crap. Okay, think about this. You can have L in the first two movies and L dies in the third in the second movie. And that's a cliffhanger. So the bad guy is still running rampant. Because and I say you could do that because they could they wouldn't have to cut out as much detail. You could be more authentic to the manga like how the anime was so that way you won't have to squeeze in everything into a two and a half hour movie if it's that long I don't really think this it should be a 90 minute movie I think first of all a 90 minute movie is a rip off because the price of movies is going up and it's it I mean it might as well be a OVA that's most OVAs are between an hour to 90 minutes so for for me to pay this to see it one time before it comes out for a 90 movie is not really um, something I suggest that they do. But let's be honest, Hollywood does what they want regardless or whatever. Now, depending if they decide to treat this movie how, uh, what is it called, tomorrow... The movie with Tom Cruise where he kept dying and it kept repeating over and over and over. If they go that route, I don't know if it would be that great. That movie, to me, I liked it. But if I go back and read the manga, I'm probably like, man, that movie really didn't do the source material justice. But what they really need to do with this is look at how Marvel is looking at their properties. Now, given these studios aren't Marvel and they aren't DC and they're not the in the cre the same mindset as the creators too oh okay well we'll do this Batman's like this blah 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 we'll figure it out how to make this work and we'll make it work they're not like that they're gonna be like okay how can we get the most people in the seats so they're gonna whitewash the cast they might not go they might abuse the source material by neglecting it now the word on the street is they're gonna keep Shimigamis and, and let's be honest. The whole argument because of Marvel Studios, the whole argument, oh, America won't get what a Shimigami is. We're gonna make it about revenge. Sorry about that. That was my editor. So I'll get her and quickly make this video so I can get back to work. So anyway, so that whole argument <laughs> it goes out the window. Cause when I heard pretty much all Death Note fans, we are the fanboys, and we're the ones that build up the hype. You look at any superhero movie where, in the history of ex in the history of Hollywood, where the fanboys were going, yeah, 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 uh, uh, telling everybody about the movie, getting people hyped up because most people are in the comics, oh my god. So if you have a friend that's into something you never heard of, now like, oh yeah, this, this movie's gonna be pretty good, and you don't really know what you want to go see, but you're like, I want to go see a movie. You're like, well. My friend liked this movie. I'm going to go see it so then I can talk to him about it. I might like it. I might not like it. It's better than going to see some random film I know nothing about. So, if they neglect the source material, we're going to be like, uh, we're not going to say nothing. There's going to be no hype behind the movie. They're going to go it along. But if they go by the source material, like how Marvel does for theirs, which DC is, looks like DC is doing for theirs, the hype will be there. People will talk about it, want to go see the movie, and it's pretty much going to be the same thing as Scarlett Johansson in the um, Ghost in the Shell movie. So people got mad, oh well, 
This character is Japanese. Uh, it doesn't say that in the manga. Uh, she looks white. You can argue that all day long. But if I were to go around with a picture of Naruto with a big smile on his face, just his head, the right here, go ask random people who don't know manga anime, and I say, is this person white or Japanese? Nine times out of ten, they're going to say Japanese, and they're going to say because he has blonde hair and blue eyes. I, I, could, I could do that all day in America. It's that, that's just what most people think of when you see white people. Blonde hair, blue eyes. So, uh, in the comments below, let me know what you think. Uh, do you hope that they get rid of the actor? I really do. There's a Even on my thumbnail, there's another guy. He looks just like, like Yagi Me. I would prefer him. Even though he's not Japanese, I'd rather they get a Japanese unknown actor who looks like like. But uh, yeah, I better hurry up and get back to drama manga. Cause I think I might get a page rejected if I don't hurry. Later. Oh yeah, sketch a race subscribe.